Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. It's episode 98. I can't believe it. And today we're going to talk about lessons in color that will absolutely change the way that you decorate. Mm. These are some tips that you can use. Uh, it's not just paint. It's the color and the palette that you're using throughout your entire home and ways that you can think about that color and ways that you can implement it uh, using our tips. I think color Yay. is one of the very most important things that any home decor enthusiast should learn about. Yeah, Ooh, it's she says that in her very I do. Oh yeah, her mom serious. voice. <gasps> oh no, no, that's her teacher mind? voice. Yeah, I, I think that's the teacher voice. That's like um, put your head down on the desk and listen to me voice. <laughs> I, no, it's my eyes up here, everyone. Eyes up here, eyes up here. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm waiting looking. for my it's time to get on your nap mat now. Oh, yeah. And here's your cookie. <laughs> oh, I want that. They don't do those that anymore. The days, they did that when I, I was in kindergarten because they actually did have like those little mats when I was oh, in yeah, kindergarten. Oh, yeah. We had those little mats. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, anymore. Get, like, the little but I think it's so, juice. I really <laughs> think that learning about color really will totally change the way you decorate. It makes it so much easier if you just have a, uh, a basic understanding of color and what it does to a room and well, how to put it together. Yeah. Right. Even if you're using a limited color palette, like we talk about all the time, or if you're very neutral, you still need to mm -hmm. have a, you know, good grasp of how all this works together. Yeah. It's because uh, it's a very vast topic and can be completely overwhelming. And you may think you have an idea and then you go to the store, whether you're looking for mm -hmm. fabrics or paints or accessories or rugs, and you're like, whoa, but I really, really like that. Oh, but it doesn't go with what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, but mm -hmm. this goes with what I'm thinking about, but I don't really like it. So if you keep these tips that we're going to give you today in mind, it will really help to focus you in and help you figure out what would be the best for you in your home and how to implement it. Kelly, you said something so important. Um, like it ha you have sort of in your mind the things that you like, but when you go to a store, you like everything and yeah. then it becomes a hard decision. Um, here, here's what I do. Like if I... Uh, uh, people love to go to antique and thrift stores with me because I'll say, well, what are you looking for? And let's say they're looking for peach luster wear. Well, I totally block out everything except that color. Oh, whoa. And it Ooh. makes it so easy. She's to a machine. Her peach luster wear glasses. And <laughs> yes, I do. I put on my peach color glasses. But that's so important when we're going to look uh, for decor, especially if you need a special color, it's almost really important to block out everything else and don't get lulled in by those beautiful white pictures. You know, we all love white dishes, white pictures, white everything, um, or that, you know, great quilt or those Mongolian fuzzy pillows. You just, you've got to concentrate on the color will it and will it work? But here's the other thing that I think that is so important. It has to deal with color. Know whether your colors are cool or whether they're warm. Mm, yes, I think that's excellent advice. Well, and sometimes it doesn't really work very well to mix them because they do have a very different undertone. Absolutely. And that's the secret. When you put two things that you think will look great together, let's say you have a blue primarily blue pillow, maybe with little flux of something. And then you're going to put a blue ecot pillow next to it or a blue buffalo check. And you're going like, oh, these blues look horrible together. It's probably well, And that's what I've noticed mm -hmm. with a certain person. I'm not going to say who it is, but I know sometimes there's a blue shirt and blue pants, but <laughs> they're kind of like one's warm and one's cool. And I'm exactly. like, that's not working. He's like, but they're both blue. They're what do blue. you mean? I'm like, but one's warm mm -hmm. and one's cool. He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, we won't mention his name either, no. Kevin. No. <laughs> Darling man. Right. That you um, might yes. clash, Kevin. But that no, is something no, he always that, looks great. that even if you have 
a, a solid and you're going to put something next to it that has that solid color in it. Let's just pick blue again, but you, and, and this, this, uh, you're like another pillow and a pillow has, is, has all these different colors, but it has blue and you put it together and you go, Oh, that doesn't look right. That may be why, because one blue is cool and the other blue is warm. Why don't we talk about what makes a color warm and what makes a color cool? I well, think go that's ahead, so teacher. important. Go ahead. Okay. Well, you have your, you know, your color, your hue, but then you also, it does it tend more towards the yellows and oranges and reds? Does it have a little bit of that in, or does it have it more of the the blues and the purples and the grays in it? And that depend that will tell you whether your color is warm or if it's cool. So I think and what that you're saying, makes a huge Yvonne, difference, right? But you're saying any color can be any warm color or cool. can be warm or cool. Yes, right. yes. It's not necessarily like oh, red is a warm mm-hmm. color and green is a cool color, right? So just so we're clear on that. With well, everyone. Sure. yeah. And there's well, the, like the, red, the red, the sure. blue. Yeah, the, the the cool red would be kind of more of a cherry red, right. more mm-hmm. of the blue undertones, right. which and would then, be like a burnt orange. You could actually make a red into a burnt orange by adding right. a warm yellow to right. it. Or, right, or but an mm-hmm. oxblood red is a very warm red. It has With lots purples. of yellow in it. Yeah, yes. it, I mean, it's red is not is it's a primary color. So mm-hmm. you know, if it was a oh, pure yes. red, it wouldn't yes. have any yellow in it. But you know, mm-hmm. paints they have other colors mixed in there, so it would have like a slight yellow undertone. But right. if you can get that down, that's going to go so far for you in becoming a better decorator and having a better eye for things that work together. Right. So understanding Mm -hmm. that basic information, that's great. And then when you (laughs) you do understand that, and then the next step is to develop a very tight color palette that you want to use for your home. And that when we're saying color, color can also be neutrals as we all love, Mm -hmm. but colors can be bright and bold and all of that wonderful thing. But you want to pick maybe top three colors. Would you agree, ladies? Oh, yeah. And I think once you do limit those colors to maybe just one, two, or three, it's amazing how much more pulled together your house looks. Just doing that one thing. Yes. Uh, or just, kind of- go ahead. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Anita. We're not no, together, so sometimes we don't know who's starting to talk. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just keeping that, you know, when there's lots of colors, different colors in a room, it can feel confusing to the eye. Mm-hmm. And so what you're wanting is kind of that feeling of, ah, when you see the color. And that's one of the big secrets that the decorators use is not too many different colors in a particular room, unless you just want like kind of a very vibrant, vibrant, wild kind of feeling, which sometimes some people do want. But if you want kind of a calm, unifying look, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. I think though, when you're saying, you know, choose maybe three colors, what they're saying is choose that hue. And then from there, you can lighten it up, darken it up. I know if you look at my dining room, um, it looks very neutral. But if you really pick the colors apart, there is bone, beige, white, off-white, winter white, almost um, a very soft wheat color. There's, I have some silver in there and some concrete, which is cool, but the, but I would say there's a lot of warm colors in there, but there's so many variations of those colors that that's what brings a lot of interest to your room. I think Kelly did mean three different colors. You can, yeah. Now one way to I, do it is ways, to just, you could do it both ways. Yeah. Right. No, but one that's way you saying. can do it is just choose one color and choose different variations of that yes. one color. But the other thing you could do is take a blue, a lavender and a yellow and put them together in a room. Mm-hmm. But maybe you could ask, also add a little mustard because it's blue or yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. So a that's little bit what of darker do. of the purple or the more of a lighter exactly. lavender. Exactly. Yes. So once you get mm-hmm. your palette, which is kind of like your think of your basic, like you picked out three crayons, uh, you know, and those crayons could be a white, a cream and, you know, a, 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 an ecru crayon, or it could be an orange and a blue and a white crayon or something mm-hmm. like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I think you are going to then, um, interpret those colors in different ways and in different degrees in all, all of the rooms. Mm-hmm. Like my palette here at this house is primarily white, black and gray. 
Mm. And so they, you know, mm. and then I mix it in. I have sort of this honey color that I've used and I brought it in through burlaps or sizals or textury baskets or, you know, the, uh, a different fabric to, to warm it up because I think that honey color juxtaposed against the gray and the white and the black is really nice. It really warms it up. Mm. Beautiful. And and your home is has a very color palette wise is very classic and it's always loved. That's just one of those color palettes that everybody loves. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with that. Mm-hmm. And it it gives you a, like a nice flow from room to room. And it also mm-hmm. gives you a nice backdrop if you're adding art or you're adding other special things. But so if you streamline your palette. And then you're going to get this cohesive feeling throughout your home. It was most homes, right? You look through one room and you're going to see the other room. I know that's for mm-hmm. sure. My house, I know it's Yvonne's and Anita's, you know, especially her Heights house has, it's almost an open floor plan, right, Anita? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. It's very open. Absolutely. So, and then if you use the same, these same colors and the same color families and hues, as Yvonne is mentioning, and you repeat them in different degrees, two different degrees in each room. You know, it's not like, well, one room is the black room and one room is the gray room, right? But you're going to incorporate them all. But one mm-hmm. room might have uh, be predominantly white in my situation. One room might be predominantly gray, but it's still going to have those other colors in there somehow, whether it be wall paint or carpeting or fabric. And Kelly, Absolutely don't having- you have a formula for that? Do I have a formula? Yes. There's yes. The, the mm-hmm. dominant color should be 60% and the uh, secondary color should be 30%. And then the accent color is your 10%. Mm-hmm. And that can be used. Uh, different colors can take on the different percentages in each room. Well, I think that is very important for the flow to have very similar colors or the same colors in adjoining rooms. But the other thing, the other reason I really like to use a very similar color palette throughout my home is so that I can rotate furniture in and out from one room to the next yeah. and accessories. So, I mean, if you want to do that, that's really going to facilitate that. But if you have, I mean, back in the day, I used to have a red room, a green room, a blue room. <laughs> and once you bought something for the green room, I stayed in the green room. room. It had to stay in the green room, which is fine if that's what you want. But, you know, that is something that is a consideration you have to keep in mind. And the, the, there is a lot of, um, an economic reason also to go with uh, a color palette throughout your entire house because you can keep changing it up and it's a lot less expensive to do it that way. Yeah, and well, you, can you explain you, what you mean? By well, that? I mean, changing it. You can pull out things from one room and put them into another room. Oh, right, right, right. Can, without buying it, something new. Right. Like we just uh-huh. um, got two new chairs for the for the um, family room. Well, we need chairs up in our sitting room. So instead of buying new, we're just putting the family room chairs up to up in our sitting oh. room, oh, and oh, they're the same musical. color. I call that musical chairs and I do that every time I buy (laughs) Mm -hmm. something new, Mm -hmm. usually about five rooms get something new. I mean, talk about, you know, making your budget work for you. That is so I just rotate things and then I have five rooms that have Mm -hmm. something fresh and new to that room. Now, do you have a plan? Like, okay, I'm going to buy this new chair and that, and now do you in your head say, okay, so this chair is going to go there and then this bench is going to have to go there. Or do you just feel it when you get home and play with it? Can I tell you (laughs) a little bit of a combination for me? Some of the stuff I kind of go, okay, I know this and this, but Mm -hmm. then once you start moving things around, you know, that's when you go, oh, wait a minute. I didn't think about this. I mean, this would really work better here. Or sometimes I buy something for a room and it doesn't work. (laughs) Yeah. And it's a real, (laughs) I mean, that happens. I thought that was going to be so great there. I know Mm -hmm. it happens. So many times I think, oh, I really, really want this in this room, but it's just for whatever reason, it's not working because I didn't take into a consideration something. I missed something. So I'll end up putting it in another room, but sure shooting, I'm able to move something else in there. So it usually right. work, comes out in the wash as they say. And yeah. you know, I just, I did a room for um, Hay Needle that's going to be on my blog. It's a farmhouse refresh of my family room. And I picked this gorgeous carpet, um, uh, rug for my, for my family room and remove the one that I already had in there. But the longer I looked at it and although I love it in there, it will be perfect in my bedroom redo. So I don't have to get a new carpet. 
So nice. we have our carpet that is going back into the family room. I mean, it breaks my heart. Oh my it gosh. Looks, it looks so beautiful in my family room, but just to save us money, it's going to look so beautiful in my, my new bedroom that we're redoing. And then the chairs, like I said, that are that we have down here, we're going, oh, great. We can put them up in the sitting room. We don't have to buy them. We can bring these and bring these other chairs in. And then I have a coffee table down in the basement that I have not known what to do with for a long time, but I love the lines of it. So I'm repainting that and putting that upstairs. So I'm always doing these kind of things. And, and you I, can because you have this palette. Yes. And, developed. Well, right, right. That's and what did, we're saying. Yes. Yeah. And I did a make, I did a, um, makeover of the gable room and ordered this really cool stylized chair with stylized like flowers on it all in this neutral sort of kitschy looking and I thought oh that would be perfect there but when we got it out of the box in the foyer I said Bobby we can't take it upstairs it works perfectly in the living room stop there Bobby Uh, don't take another step it's that's exactly right and so now I'm looking for I'll probably slip cover another chair that we have to put in that guest room because everything in my house works together. So let me go back to color uh, and how it things have evolved over time. Okay. Have Ooh, you, this is going to be good. I, Well, I mean, I just think it's kind of interesting too. I love history. I, well, how I think uh, some of us are admitting to having the Tuscan face. Only some. There are some that are still in denial. A certain some. person has not admitted the Tus- no. Tuscan face. I, I was mm-hmm. laughing to myself because I saw something and I was like, if I took a picture of this and showed them, they would say, more evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 what, noticed, what do you call it? What do you call it, Kelly? My autumnal house. Oh, yes. autumnal <laughs> AKA Tuscan. <laughs> yes. Well, so I'm just thinking about how we had the bright colors and now we've got the new more neutrals, but you know, I love the neutrals, mm-hmm. but I'm adding but I've kind of gotten a little, I you know, know you daredevil. bored with the idea of a daredevil <gasps> now. You know, I'm adding in my lavenders, mm-hmm. added a little millennial pink to my I dining room. I saw that it's beautiful, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. Well, so, but as I'm adding uh, color, though, I'm listen. I'm kind of keeping to the lavenders and blue, a, a little bit of pink mm-hmm. and blue. So, well, can we say the favorite mm-hmm. word? Do it judiciously. Oh, good word. Yes. Word. We yes. Well, well funny that right. you should say that, Anita, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I have always loved gold my whole life. Golden uh-huh. jewelry, golden hair, golden color. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. gold, beautiful. And I'm adding a little bit of those shades back into my decor. I love that. And burlepium mm-hmm. and all those colors. Gold. I yeah. love gold. But yeah. I mean, very I muted. And mm-hmm. the, my upstairs uh-huh. that I'm redoing, the beautiful um, settee that I got the from Italy, that has like a very like mustardy gold in it. And I'm going to add a little bit color. of that in. So I agree yeah. with you. But well, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. It works. And it works because of your tight color palette. Yeah, that's right. kind of and my so, 10% too. I love the gold. I mean, because it's yes, farmhouse 10%. glam. I got a little gold. I mean, I was thinking about the little black dress, you know, yeah. the little black dress. It mm-hmm. goes with everything. It's always in style. Mm-hmm. And it made me think of a lot of the bedspreads I have in my house. They're just white or cream. And I was thinking, you know, that's kind of like the little black dress of the mm-hmm. bedroom yeah. because you can add whatever color pillows you want to it. I mean, I have the bolster pillows. I have pillow shams. But you can really create a very different look just by changing out those pillows if you keep that neutral uh, colored bedspread on there. Yeah. And we don't want it to feel like, oh, this is such a gigantic commitment, but you know, it kind of is important to take, do your homework, listen to our tips and develop your palette. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today and let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. 
Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Would you say your favorite colors in decor, decorating have ch- changed over the years or has it always been the same? Because I started out with the blues and then went with the Tuscan and then now I'm back to the blues. I'm just curious hmm. to know. So you your sort color of came journey. Full circle. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Is that normal? Is that something you have done? You want to know our color journeys? Yes, I want to know your color journey. <laughs> the you know? honest color. I never knew color I was journey, on color Kelly. journey, but yes, no, <laughs> definitely. I definitely have changed, uh, and I think it also depends on the type of house you were. I mean, you can you can try to corner me in Tuscany if you want, but really, <laughs> my other house would not look good in the limited color palette that I have in this house. We're not teasing mm. you for having the Tuscan. We're teasing you for not admitting. For not admitting. Not admitting. Not Fessing up, girl. I know. I know. I'm just, you know, all like a rose by another name, right? Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. here's the thing. I think your house, just like your person and your persona and your lifestyle, but the actual construction of your home, the style, the light that it gets, all of that should play into the type of color palette that you're choosing. Mm-hmm. The colors I had in this house would look stark and inappropriate in my prior storybook style That's house. such a good point. Huh. Just because such of the a shape, good point. Because of the architecture of the home. Mm-hmm. Do I hear it? Do I hear it? Ding, hear ding, 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 ding. Yeah, really, you do. <laughs> oh. No, that's a good one. That was a little okay. self-promoting, Kelly, I must say. Shameless self-promoting. <laughs> shameless self-promoting. But no, that, that really is so true. When I heard because- you gasp. And say that was a good one. I thought that maybe was a good it. point okay. because okay. I'm thinking oh, yeah. back to my previous homes, and you are so right. But the color that I keep coming back to, like I said before, was a, is a gold. Yeah, and so I've always had it in all of my homes and loved it because I'm a real yellow lover. Oh, um, okay. Mm-hmm. And when yellow was hot, I painted every wall in this house yellow because oh. I love to live with it. I had humble gold was my bedroom. Oh. And I almost like, it was such a beautiful yellow. But it's I happy. Just, yeah, it's happy. And, but, it, but it was a little sophisticated too. It wasn't kind of like mm-hmm. too cheery. Yeah, it's a I'm the beautiful, same mm-hmm. It's a beautiful gold. It's Benjamin Moore, if anybody's looking at humble gold. Well, and but, it's interesting. Oh, go ahead. I, but I, yeah, I didn't want to paint any of the rooms here that color. So mm-hmm. I've kind of pulled that. It's kind of the color in paint form of sort of a, a sizal or a, a bat, oh, you know, like oh, a how pretty. Judy color yeah. or burlap, you know, it's that mm-hmm. kind of Has color. a little, it's a lot warmer. Yeah. Lot, 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 so like, I bring well, it in in texture and other materials. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So it's but, interesting what you were saying too about the colors looking different in different rooms because we had a, a gold kind of a, I think it was called bungalow gold or something like that in our family room at our old house in my Tuscan phase. And it looked fantastic. And I said, I want my whole house done in this color <laughs> and uh, started painting some other rooms. Looked kind of muddy brown in some of the other yeah, rooms. Because yeah. of I mean, how much really light's amazing. coming in. And the direction of light, is it southern Well, light, it wasn't as much northern, light and it mm-hmm. just really looked kind of dingy and I didn't like it, but you know, ugh, anyway. Anita, I'm going to give you double tip of the day. Ding, 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 ding. Because I think that people don't. Ooh, half a tip. I know. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to share well, I'm it. not happy about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought um, I was free and clear. It's 26 minutes and 19 <laughs> seconds in. <laughs> you're never no, flare, free you, and clear. You stand on your own with no. it. But here's what I'm was going to say. You have to be careful how the exact same color looks in a different room. Mm-hmm. And yes. people don't think of that. Now, my my house, I could almost guarantee that everything will look great in every room I put it in because it, it's – it's that mix of neutrals and I know what I'm mixing with, but let's say I would put in, um, that color that's up in going to be up in my bedroom, sort of a beautiful mustardy yellow that would look not look good in my dining room. My it's too bright in my dining room. That dining room would make that color just glare. Yeah. So I think that's really, really important. So am I going to buy a piece of furniture, a whole piece of furniture in yellow? Although like that mustard, I'd love to, but I could never use it anywhere else. So I won't. Okay. So no, I think that's a tip of the day too. Now, come on. Oh, yes. No, Ding, because are you me? I didn't hear it. Ding- <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Because here's the thing. I mean, look, if you love some color, I mean, rather than putting that uh, color in a sofa or something, again, go with the neutral. Absolutely. Uh, go with the, I recommend neutrals on the walls, neutrals on your big pieces of furniture, and go with those fun colors in your accent pieces. Then, and even on the rug, you, you can do an having, accent color. Mm-hmm. If you have a color journey, if you do change your mind like we did and say, <laughs> "Ugh, I'm so not into these colors anymore," then you're just moving pillows out of your house and not having to repaint walls, having right. to replace your sofa. I right. mean, that really is a lesson I've learned. I'd right. rather re- I'd rather repaint a wall walls because we do that ourselves. I mean, it can get very expensive if you don't, but to replace a large piece of furniture like a sofa. Oh my goodness. I would never make, I mean, unless you thought like if I could buy a blue suede sofa, I'd probably do it, but it wouldn't match anything in my house. Um, But stay with it, stay with something neutral and then add your colors in. And your neutral may be- If I ever go back to the red colors, my Mm -hmm. sofa and my chairs in the living room are all red underneath. Underneath. So, yeah. Oh. So I can always yeah. just take those slip covers. You know, off. I almost bought a red sofa when that was really popular, but then <laughs> I thought, mm, you know what? In a few years that may not be as popular and See, I may get tired I of it. I had thought through mm-hmm. all of that. Well, wow. I had, remember I had a yellow floral sofa, 18th century, yeah. in, two of them in my living room and had to live with them for 27 years because they were such good quality. I, I couldn't get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. So when I you call develop- that being a hostage to your furniture, right? right. That's so- oh, say that again. Yeah, you're being held hostage by your furniture. Don't be held hostage by your furniture. That's ding, ding, ding. I mean, what? I can't- okay. what? I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Kelly? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. This- I gotta go. So many. <laughs> So many good points. I mean, don't you wish somebody? God, we're good at this. Like twenty years ago, when you started decorating, would have told you this. Oh yes. my goodness. I mean, to, because, send this listen. to everybody who's just starting to decorate. Send an email with this link in it because this will save them headaches and a thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, well I thought I was doing so good with the red sofa because right. I was oh. buying florals before. So uh, this was a big step <laughs> yeah, for me. It was, it my, was first first up, sofa. my first solid sofa. But here's the thing. Color. It is, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, to, to use the word, the overused word of our times. It is a journey. Journey. We, and, we're not, we don't love that word too much, but it's well, true. It but is it, a journey. But sometimes it just is. And so, you you know, you can't, you can't bemoan your red sofa because you loved it then. And, and you, you loved learn. And you then, learn. And you just mm-hmm. change. So what I would say mm-hmm. is if you're ready for a change in your house or you're moving to a new house and you get to start over a little bit, take a cue from your closet. 
because that's probably mm-hmm. going to give you an idea of the colors that you really love and are comfortable with right now. Isn't you know, it funny it, you say that? I wear the exact colors that are in my closet. Well, remember I must we have talked 15 about that white before. shirts. Right. 30 yeah. white shirts, actually. Yeah. yeah. Everything right. in the the top part of me is always like white, like a white button down or right. you know, something like because that. Because sometimes, mm-hmm. like as we started out this episode, it can be overwhelming, all these choices. So we're trying to give you tips and sort of how to curate and, and narrow the universe for yourself so you can find out what feels right for you at this oh, point in time on more? your journey. Sure. To there have the bla- little bit of black in your room, too. That was my yes. next point, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I interrupting you? No, no. I was afraid was, you were closing and I didn't a, have to say it. It was a different point, but I'm, I'm just okay. saying you didn't step on my toes, I agree with you. Very well, good. we're trying to be very sensitive to you now because we know you're hurting about the whole t- <laughs> Just because tip of the you day like, thing. It's like giving me the Academy Award and like, then you took his arm and then she took his head. <laughs> no, no, Now no, I no. just have a no. little stump left. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, and we, I just have to throw this Honey, in. This I is- would share anything with you. I would I know you share would. my Hello Fresh meal if I could. I, would, I, share I want some of those of orphans day. in your barn. I'm going to give you some of the Decor orphans, orphans. In my barn. But here's what, and also we just might have to make our listeners aware. I'm in Pennsylvania, Anita's in Houston, and our heart goes out to Houston. We are still thinking about you and praying for you. And, and, um, oh, yeah, Kelly, my sheetrock guys are here today yeah. to fix the ceiling from and, the leak. <laughs> and Kelly's in California. So if we talk on top of each other, we don't know. Like when somebody's done, you know, and when somebody's Oh, yeah, but we would so continue. do this if we were sitting at Starbucks. Well, <laughs> yeah, the three of us would, but we wouldn't. We would be Isn't much that so nicer. cute? She's pretending like we wouldn't. Yeah, that's I, I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls. <laughs> Got me. But I think we would be a little nicer if we were all in a room together um, podcasting to everybody listening. <laughs> So we'd be a little more polite, but we, yeah. Maybe we'll so have to do a live that. podcast someday and everybody could see whether that's true or not. That, Wouldn't that, would, that be fun? That would be so fun. Oh yeah, we definitely need to do that. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. 
Okay, we'd have to like share who's still in their pajamas when we're we're yeah. podcasting, who's eating their lunch, um, muting and, and eating their lunch in between <laughs> while you're listening to what people. Well, are the saying. last time I had to mute half the time because the guy was the blower was here for the yard, and I'm just <laughs> yes. like. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes. I'll be back in five. <laughs> and once in a while, somebody's Michael totally cut off. and We have no idea where they went. So we continue on. So it is just so much fun. It really is. I have is. one more quick tip okay. on the topic mm-hmm. before we leave. How about thinking about decorating your room from dark to light vertically? Now, this is a no risk way to decorate. And Are you cons- talking about an ombre on the wall? No, no. I'm talking about a very like a, a broad stroke, dark on the bottom, flooring is darker, the the uh, walls are lighter, and then, oh, excuse me, the walls are sort of the medium colors, and then the ceiling is lighter, like the ceiling white, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's it's safe, there's no risk, it's, uh, it's going to work, so you take your tight color palette, and then you bring it from the darker part up to the ceiling where it gets lighter and lighter. It mimics the way the world is outdoors. Usually the ground is darker and then what you're seeing around you and then obviously the sky. That's exactly how my home is. I just had to think about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See? Yeah, here too. Because I'm definitely a white ceiling girl. Right. Now you can, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it's very bold to do something interesting on the ceiling. But if you're not comfortable, if you're not at that space, a place right now and you're trying to you're working on your palette and you say how do I work this all well you know maybe don't keep the walls super dark do the dark on the bottom and then work your way up lighter Smart. and I think you won't have mm-hmm. you know it will be beautiful it's kind of a nice mm-hmm. recipe that's that's almost like a no fail yes exactly yeah, very good very very good point I'm not going to say tip of the day no, anymore. Apparently not. I think, we, I, think we, I think we've overused that. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> On this one, we got. I got a little crazy. Watered they were just really good. Oh, they were really good tips. Who knew? All righty. So everyone, it was great to have you here yeah. today. I guess we're. I sort of guess we're coming to an end. So we want to say. Uh, Come back next uh, next episode because we're going to be talking about flooring, which is really exciting. And remember, we are here to help you create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us.